What's going on guys? Today we're gonna actually finish the review for Wholesome's Victor and Members Mark. We didn't start with these particular brands. We had to change it up for a particular reason. I don't know if you watched our videos last week where we were giving you an update as to why we had to change things around. Just know that those brands that we were using that we started out with ended up giving our dogs either pasty poop or some other uh, alternative issues such as allergies. Now the first bag I'm gonna go ahead and review is gonna be this one right here, Wholesome's. And you're gonna see on the screen the two dogs that we were actually feeding this throughout is actually our girl Pinky and her brother Blueberry. Now all in all, allergies, we had zero with this particular brand. Now as far as weight, we did see a 15% weight increase in both of these pups. Now I'm rounding, one of them was at 13.3 and Blueberry was at 14.3 and therefore we're rounding to 15. But that's still quite a good amount to put on a dog in just a matter of over 24 days that we've had them on this. Now, were there any negatives that we saw with Wholesome's? One of the reasons we allowed the pups to go ahead and be on trial with Wholesome's is because it has 22% protein and 12% fat. Now, even though I feed my dogs raw, I typically either supplement with potatoes or rice, and I throw that in there on purpose so I can reduce the amount of protein. They're used to typically around 15% protein. We upped it 7% to 22. And the only thing negative that I did see is my boy Blueberry and his sister Pinky actually started knuckling over. For those of you that don't know what knuckling over is, is when the pastern actually comes forward over the paw. Uh, and that's more of a sign of weakness. And we find it to be typical with higher protein diets. So for Wholesome's, that's the only negative I saw from a scale to one to 10. If I had to rate it, I probably rated a seven. Poop was very consistent. Dogs didn't break out in allergies. Um, the only thing we saw, like I said, is the knuckling over. We were able to correct that by simply adding some rice and reducing kibble. In a matter of one day, knuckling over was gone. So that's what we got for Wholesome's. Oh, one other thing, energy level is normal. Uh, I didn't see them either more hyper or less hyper. Behavior didn't change. So that's definitely a positive. Just want to make sure I didn't forget that. The next brand I'm going to talk to you about is Victor's Ocean Fish Formula. It has 24% protein versus 12% fat. I would say all in all, it really wasn't too bad. Being that I had to take them off the red Victor bag and transfer them over to this Ocean Fish formula because they were breaking out with allergies. And with the Victor Ocean Fish formula, it was rather seamless. The dogs were able to eat it, no issues. Poop was tight. Um, all allergies dissolved. They were not being affected by it. Now, what about energy level? I would say that my dog's energy level actually went down a hair. This is why we're testing each particular pod uh, so we could actually have a good measurement as far as their usual energy. And I would say their energy came down by something minimal like 10% but it did come down. Now, as far as coat, you can tell that there was an improvement. So what's the main contention uh, to this bag? Well, first of all, it's $68 a bag of 40 pounds. In addition to that, in the past, I've had my dogs on Victor before, and I've had females having issues getting pregnant. Were they on this particular Victor Ocean formula? They were not. So I can't judge the ocean formula like I did with the other bags, but nonetheless, I just felt like I had to share that information with you. Next up, I wanna give my review on Members Mark Salmon and Sweet Potato Formula. Before I start my review, I have to say, I got about four to five calls of people that saw my last video and tried Members Mark Salmon and Sweet Potato Formula. I had one that said he actually got the lamb and rice, I believe. Either way, they're all saying that the dogs transitioned smoothly into it. None of them got diarrhea. It's the tightest, most well-formed poop that they've seen on any kip. These are big words because these are all people that have tried Victor in the past. In addition, let me tell you, there's a couple of things that I was against with this particular kibble. One of the things that made me adamant about this kibble is that it has 28% protein and 14% fat. Now again, I said I'm going to go ahead and give it a try and feed it to my dogs, but if there was any type of detriment, I would stop it immediately. Now mind you, this bag substituted Diamond Naturals, and we had Diamond Naturals. I'm going to let you guys know right now, 
Diamond Naturals, I had to get rid of it. The poop was way too pasty. As you can see, we have pea gravel inside of the cages. Pea gravel and pasty poop is no bueno. So we swapped out Diamond Naturals and we went ahead and put 4 Health. I was still getting pasty poop. So right now, we substituted that with members Mark. This kibble came in and regulated the dogs. Their coats are amazing. I'll show you here in a second. Their energy level's high. Poop is nice and well-formed and easy to pick up. Price was the worst. It's $39.99 for a 30-pound bag. You get yourself two bags for 80 bucks, 60 pounds worth. You do the math, you compare, say, to that Victor Ocean formula, you're gonna quickly realize it's not too shabby. Here's the other thing I really liked about this brand. First ingredient on its bag is salmon. Now, on Wholesome's over here, first ingredient is whitefish meal. On the Victor Ocean Fish is Manhattan meal. All in all, like I said, Wholesome's, I'm grading seven out of 10. Uh, Victor Ocean Fish formula, I'm gonna go ahead and grade it a seven out of 10 as well. But members mark, salmon and sweet potato, it's getting a 9 out of 10. The difference I've seen in the coat, the difference I've seen in the dog's energy level, behavior has not changed. And that's important, guys, because sometimes that cheap kibble will cause behavioral issues. One of the things you never want to be feeding dogs is corn. It becomes sugar instantly in their blood, and you're going to have them jumping around, acting like a 5-year-old that's had too much sugar. So now my job with the reviews are done. As much as I've liked certain kibbles, I'm actually thinking about putting my dogs right back into raw. So in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how I'm gonna transition my dogs from eating kibble to raw in a matter of days. Don't leave just yet. I wanna show you the dogs in their coats. I'm gonna put the brand that they're on and you make a determination as to what you would grade each particular brand based on the dog's coats that you see. Sunshine's energy level has been up since she's been on uh, member's mark. That's that salmon and sweet potato formula. Look at the coat on her. I don't know if you can see it, but it's gleaming. I know the light's hitting it. It's also hitting blueberry, but it doesn't gleam like it gleams with her. These are the pups that were on Victor. Ocean fish formula. That was Oreo. This is her brother Tatanka. Look at the weight he's put on. He's actually been putting on quite a bit of weight, guys. On that salmon, uh, what is it, member's mark, salmon and sweet potato. Also, remember we're talking about an ear infection, right? So I'm gonna show you guys what I actually put on there. She no longer has one, completely clear. Now, last video we did, we're talking about MTG. You can see the top patch is almost done. The bottom patch still has maybe about another week to go. Uh, our girl Spunky's definitely coming along just fine. Yeah, this boy Tatanka definitely gained some serious weight on that kibble. Look at this. Let's see if I can get you an above shot. Yeah, he's definitely gained quite a bit. Guys, you already know. Make sure you click here to watch the subsequent video.